Now, earlier this week, we brought you the latest live concert at the San Francisco Symphony since pandemic reopenings, a tribute to Selena. This morning, we have another special musical treat to kick off your day. Amanda, tell us about this group here. I am so excited about them. Time for three, a band performing with the SF Symphony this week, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, is making waves through their notes by playing a different sort of tune while sharing their message of what contact means to them. Outside Davies Hall, these musicians took some time to share their talents on the streets of San Francisco. And while they usually perform with famed orchestras in grand music halls, Time for Three made some time for me. That's awesome. Three guys from the East Coast, Nicholas Kendall, Charles Yang, and Renan Meyer. It is their skills with their strings and their love of this city that has finally brought them and their music back to life here. Played with the orchestra in Stern Grove years ago. It was sort of the beginning of a of, of relationship um, with this amazing organization. Time for Three call themselves a band of the moment, cut from a classical cloth, but playing to push classical music forward. We're just curious musicians. We're, I mean, it's already weird that it's two violins and a bass and voice, but we're just curious to find different sounds. Like so many of us, Nick, Renan, and Charles were forced into separation because of the pandemic. But that brought new ideas and new music to life that we get to experience now in their latest of four concertos, this one called Contact. To kind of re-explore it during the pandemic really took on a new kind of shape where it is about this idea of the other exploring new frontiers, but also reconnecting with ourselves as humans. And while their music doesn't fit into any specific mold, it fits in right here in San Francisco. San Francisco is such a town of innovation and creativity, thinking way into the future. Peace is yeah. kind of perfect for that. You know, there's so, there's so much diversity in artistic expression here. In a lot of ways, we feel like it's a fit just because genre does not really define us. Where their different tune plays quite nicely for all who choose to experience it, whether it be a beautiful acoustic music hall or a San Francisco sidewalk. Oh, I just love just, listening to them play. Yes, I love to hear it too. It's so good. Well, you can still make plans so you can see them live tomorrow at Davies Hall in San Francisco mm. and Friday at Frost Amphitheater. Now, those ticket, tickets, they're pretty cheap too, 15, 20 bucks. So if you're looking for something to do, I put all that info for you on kpix.com to check out. And they're just a great group. They even have a scholarship program for mm -hmm. emerging artists, I which is just incredible. Yeah. So these guys, amazing musicians, but also just incredible people. I want to so. hear more. We, we? we want to hear some more and uh, they're here oh. with us at KPIX this morning. They woke up early for us to give us a little bit more music and a preview of what they've got going on with the San Francisco Symphony this week. Let's take a listen for a second. <laughs> 